This video will list the top 5 Archer PvP generals available to free-to-play players as of February 2023. As this is the free-to-play list, it will only include generals that are accessible to players regardless of spending. If you do decide to do some spending, I highly suggest you check out the Amazon App Store video. This is a sponsored video, but it doesn't mean the offer isn't fantastic. Using Amazon App Store will save you up to 20% on your purchases, and it's really easy to set up. On occasion, there are also promotional events that can reach even higher discounts. There's currently a promotion for players in the United States and France, so definitely check out those if you play from those regions. The link to the Amazon App Store video and more will be provided in the video description. Now back to the top 5 PvP Archer General list. The considerations made for the selection of these generals are Archer Attack, Archer Defense, Archer HP, March Size, and in some cases, unique attributes such as debuffs are also considered. Since this video is focused on the usage of these generals as the primary, it will consider General Ascension and Specialty. Number 5. Li Shimin. Li Shimin's skill increases March Size by 10% and Ranged Troop Attack by 15%. This skill is active both offensively and defensively. Li Shimin's overall archer attack isn't too bad, but he's quite a bit weaker than the other free-to-play generals when it comes to defense and HP. He does get a bit of a boosted march size and rally size, but I don't feel this makes up for the lackluster stats. Li Shimin is available in the tavern. Number 4. Nar. Nar's skill increases ranged troop attack by 35% when used offensively. Nar's ranged attack is quite high for a free-to-play general. His archer defense and HP are a bit low, but certainly a step above Li Shimin. His march size is comparable to Li Shimin as well. When awakened, Nar will obtain the 10% troop death to wounded, which helps save your troops in world PvP. There are better options, but Nar isn't too bad for a free-to-play player. Nar is available in the tavern. Number 3. Minamoto no Yoshitsune. Minamoto's skill increases ranged attack by 25% with an additional 15% when Minamoto has a dragon equipped for a total of 40% attack. Minamoto's skill is active both offensively and defensively. While Minamoto's versatility is useful, his overall buffs are not quite at the level of the other top generals. His attack is higher than Li Shimin with about equal defense and HP. He does lose some march size, but the increase to attack should provide more value than a few extra troops. Overall, Minamoto isn't a bad free-to-play choice, and I wouldn't drop him and run to one of the others if you've already invested heavily into him. If you're just starting out though, you might want to consider one of the top two instead. Minamoto no Yoshitsune is available in the tavern. Number 2. Winfield Scott Winfield Scott's skill provides 5% attack to all troops and an additional 20% ranged attack. This skill is active offensively and defensively. Before Awakening, I would rank Winfield Scott below Minamoto. After a few stars, he gains a lot more in terms of buffs than Minamoto and ends up ranking higher. In addition to greater buffs, he also gains the Troop Death into Wounded skill, which helps reduce troop losses in PvP combat. Like Minamoto and Li Shimin, Winfield Scott's primary skillbook has the versatility of almost being fully effective offensively and defensively, but he does lose 35% attack on the fourth specialty when used defensively. Winfield Scott is available in the Tavern and through Relic Exploration. Number 1. Electra. Electra's skill increases range attack by 35% when using a dragon. This skill is only active offensively. Electra has held the number one spot for free-to-play archer PvP generals for quite a while. She's very strong, and despite being accessible to free-to-play players, she's a contender even among the paid generals. She's worthy of being fully awakened and specialized if you have the means to do so, as she gains a lot of additional stats, march size increases, and a fun perk of converting some of your enemies in city wounded troops into dead troops. Non spenders all the way up to mid range spenders should seriously consider Electra. Her strength, in addition to her accessibility, makes her a great pick as a PvP Archer General. Electra is available through Relic Exploration. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.